In the shadow of a widespread corruption investigation, the new leadership of the United Auto Workers is doing all it can to fend off a federal takeover. But as Local 4 business editor Rod Maloney reports tonight, all indications are that effort may fall short. For the past five years now, we have watched defendants walk in and out of federal court in this UAW case, and all along there was the undercurrent that the UAW itself could be in some serious trouble. And now with this filing, with Vance Pearson's case, the rumbling is more like a roar. It is the line that sends a collective shiver through UAW leadership. Former Region 5 Director Vance Pearson's new superseding information charges him with, quote, conspiracy to embezzle union funds and to use a facility of interstate commerce to aid a racketeering enterprise, end quote. Translation, the government's calling the UAW a criminal outfit. I think that there's a good chance that the feds are going to take over the UAW. Dr. Merrick Masters of the Wayne State University Illich School of Business is in the process of writing a book about the scandal, and he believes the slow, steady march to a receiver is nigh. They're going to say that this is too deep and widespread, it's a cultural problem, and that we really need to come in and clean house. Newly installed UAW President Rory Gamble revamped financial controls, disbanded Region 5, where former directors Pearson and Gary Jones found so much trouble, he drummed the duo out of the union. It's going to get ugly before it gets better, but that's what we have to do. Um, this is a very serious thing. It means a lot. It impacts all of our members. Still, Masters doesn't think that's going to do much. I think that's a step in the right direction, but I don't think it's enough at this point in time. So that's the first time that we've seen the federal government discuss the UAW in that light. Now, we also want to point out that Gary Jones, the former president, has not been charged with anything. But the union charged him internally before they drummed him out. And now it appears that Robinson and Vance Pearson, Edward N. Robinson and Vance Pearson, who used to work with and for Gary Jones, are likely to be cooperating with the federal government. So we'll have to wait and see where that all takes us. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod. Time now for a check of the national stories you'll see ahead at 6.30 on NBC Nightly News. Off to New York we go. We're